guys, thanks for watching Brooklyn Mama's Kitchen. I'm Lisa and I'm often asked how do I keep my boys entertained while making dinner? So today I'd like to share some fun activities with you that will definitely keep your kids entertained and hopefully make your dinner time just a little bit less stressful. One of the activities that I love is called window art and all you need for it are those bathtub foam letters or numbers or shapes and either a window or a glass door. Basically, all you need to do is just wet your window with some water and let your kids have fun. They can put those letters and numbers onto the glass, they can make words with them. Zach really likes putting the letters and numbers on the glass and telling Nicholas what they are. Nickel just really likes popping them off the window. Now the next activity is probably one of my boys' favorite and all you need for it is just some dry pasta in different size bowls and some spoons. You just pour the pasta in and let them pretend to cook. They love pouring it from bowl to bowl, they can measure it, they can mix it with their spoons, and if there is a mess, it's really not that big of a deal as it cleans up very quickly and very easily. The next activity that I really like is chalkboard. So we painted our pantry door with chalk paint, and you can get it online or at a Home Depot or Lowe's and um, all you need is just some chalk and let the kids have fun and explore and really pretend to be teachers or draw on it, whatever they want to do. And surprisingly, that really does keep them busy for a very long time. Another thing that I like to do is just bring out a whole bunch of rubber bands and some cans of soup. It's so simple, but it does really keep them occupied just putting the rubber bands on the different cans. It takes sort of a skill to get a rubber band onto a can of soup and will definitely keep them busy. They can count the rubber bands on one can, they can count them while they put it on the other one. Car wash, another favorite activity of ours and all you need for it is just some matchbox cars and a sink. Anytime I have a recipe that I make that doesn't require me spending a lot of time at the sink, either washing something or pouring something, then I do this activity. I just give the boys some matchbox cars turn the water on and let them have fun. They pretend it's a car wash and they spend a lot of time just washing one car after another. It keeps them busy and happy and it gives me the time to make dinner. For the next activity, all you need is a cardboard box and it's amazing how much entertainment it could be. My boys love climbing into it, pretend it's a spaceship, if it's a big enough box, they can pretend it's a playhouse, or I bring out a ton of markers and they just spend lots of time coloring it. You do want to use washable markers, so if they get any of the marker on your tile or on your cabinets, you could very easily just wipe it up when they're done. It really is amazing how much time they can spend playing with a box. Now this brings me to my last activity and I only do it when I have some extra time to make dinner and I have just a little bit more patience. And it's involving your kids in cooking. They can get things for you out of the cupboard or the fridge, they can wash the veggies or fruits, they can measure ingredients, they can even put in spices or maybe stir and mix the dish. Just whatever you can sort of delegate to them and they will have so much fun doing it and this will definitely inspire them and um, just make them love cooking and maybe, just maybe, appreciate you making dinner just a little bit more. I hope you will give these activities a try and please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like what you see. And if you're in Brooklyn and you have a recipe that you'd like to make on the show, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to have you and give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time bye